so that show you the essential technique we're going to use and the code that does that. So this isn't exactly the code we're going to show you, but it's very close. Um, but we're, so first you need a surface that you're going to roll the text and scroll it up onto. Uh, so we create a surface that's going to have a size that's high enough to show a certain lines of text and a width that will allow you to show the longest line. So then we uh, create the uh, surface that holds the first line of text. So this is normally how you draw text anyway. So you just render the first line of text into text one, which is a surface. So here's a picture of what that is. And then you blit that surface uh, to surface one. And we start at the top. And so self y is going to keep track of where we're going to draw it. So we're going to implement, we're going to increment it by delta y, which we'll get from the size of the text. And you'll see that in the code. And so it's going to increment here after we've drawn it, ready to draw the next line of text. So we just go ahead and draw the lines of text. So we'll draw this line, and we're incrementing delta y each time. And uh, so basically each loop through to draw a line of text, you render a line of text, you blit it to the right place on the surface, and then increment it. And what you're looking for is when you get to a point where the line doesn't fit. So here's an example. Uh, the, uh, this, this line won't scroll up because it won't fit on the surface one. So what you have to do now is scroll everything up. So the way you do that is you, uh, you basically blit the whole surface here, surface one, onto surface one, and you roll it up minus delta. So basically all this text rolls up here. So uh, the top line of text, because it's going minus delta, is going to roll off the surface. Anything outside the surface gets clipped. So you end up with this. Now what happens when you do this, this last line of text, since you're copying all this up one, is still there. So you need to erase it. So the next thing is you have to erase the rectangle for that last line of text with your background. Okay, here's the code for what we're going to use. I'm running in uh, PyCharm, which is one of my favorite uh, editors that you can get for the community edition for free. Uh, so we basically uh, import some uh, packages we're going to use. We define some colors we're going to use. Um, and then uh, th this class text scroll is what actually does the scrolling. And we're going to go into that. And that's my primarily where all the action I just covered in the slides happen. Let's go down to our main program. So we're going to run a main program called example one. I have two examples in here. This one uh, does some extra things like puts uh, uh, draws rectangles around the uh, areas we're going to be drawing to. So you can see what's going on. And then there's example two, which does a longer story. And it's more like what you would actually do. Uh, so we're going to run through uh, running through example one. So we're going to go ahead and start it. So basically, this uh, when main starts up, it just calls this. Uh, this OS environment, SDL video, you can set the window position. So we're setting it for a window over here because I'm debugging. So just offset a little bit. We initialize PY game. We create the screen. Uh, so this will be the size of our window. Uh, we fill it with white and we start the clock. Okay. And then um, we set up a font we're going to use for what we're going to be doing. Uh, and then we set up a rectangle in our area that we want to actually scroll within. And we're, we're going to draw a blue line around it, a little bigger. So we create another uh, area, uh, a rectangle from that, where we take that area and just make it two bigger in every direction. And that's what uh, inflate does. So we have area, and then we're going to draw a box around it. So we're going to draw that box on the screen, and then we're going to flip it to the display. So we're going to run to this point with the debugger, and I'll show you what happens. So it just runs, and we draw a blue box there. OK. So let me reset that. Uh, OK, so now we actually call text scroll. And this is going to set things up. So let's go look at that. So text scroll up here is here's the constructor. It takes an area to draw into, what font we're going to use, what the color of the text will be, which is the foreground color. The background color is how we erase what's behind the text. Uh, the actual text we want to draw, which is all the lines. And then how fast we want it to scroll up. So you can change this to make it go slower or faster. Let's make it go pretty slow right now. So let's make it uh, 800 uh, milliseconds per line. So we, we just copy those. So we copy the area to our, uh, our object uh, values. 
So we're going to have a rectangle, foreground, background color, the size. We create a surface. So we create a surface that's going to be uh, drawn on the display here. And that's going to be the surface. We fill it with background color. Uh, we uh, we uh, get the font. We split the text up into an array uh, of individual lines, or actually a list. Um, we save the milliseconds per line. And then we set our initial position. So this was in the slides. So we're going to start at zero. So the first text is going to go at the very top. And the delta is going to be the height of a letter. So you get, you would call font size, and we get the the uh, height parameter from the tuple it returns for the size. And the size it returns is the uh, width and the height. So that remembers the height, and that's how much we're going to move to draw the next line. Um, we have a flag, uh, which is called next time. And we have a dirty flag to tell it if we've changed something. So we'll see how that works. OK, and then this is going to be the main routine that's going to handle drawing a line. So this is a lot of what we did on the slideshow before is right in this routine. You just give it a line of text. It, uh, it adds the delta to y to test if we're at the bottom. So that's the first thing we want to do. If, it, uh, if the delta plus y is past the size of the uh, box, uh, then we're going, to, uh, we're going to scroll up. So this is that line of text, line of code I showed you in the slides where we draw we copy the whole area up by the delta, negative delta, and that scrolls it up. We, we uh, update the y to be the next delta. We should actually go back one, since we're backing up. And then we draw the rectangle of solid color to erase the very bottom text. Uh, and then uh, if we weren't scrolling or whatever we do, we just render the text. We render the text. Uh, we draw a rectangle around it. This is just for demo here. You normally wouldn't have this. And then you uh, surface split the text to the y position. Then you just increment the delta, the y by the delta. So you go to the next line. Now update is typically what gets called from the main PY game loop. Uh, so every time you get a, t a click on the top, a clock, you call this. So it's going to get the current time. If the time is uh, none, which we haven't done anything yet, or the next time, which marks when we should be doing the next line, is still less than now, and we have lines to do, uh, then we're going to go ahead and draw. So what's going to do, it's going to set the, the next time period. Uh, it's going to get the line from the uh, list of text. So it's going to pop it off. And uh, it's going to call update line to do the thing with it. It's going to set dirty, which is going to tell the uh, main PY group to call draw. And then it calls update again. So that's in case it takes too long. Uh, if you have the time set to almost to zero, it'll just scroll as fast as it can run. So that's to handle that. If it's, the time's not up, update will just return. OK, and then draw just checks if it's dirty, and it blitz the surface uh, that we've been working on to uh, the screen at the rectangle area, and then sets dirty the faults. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, so let's run it here. You can see what's happening. So it draws it. It starts scrolling up, and that's it. So you can play with it. Uh, so all you have to do is uh, do more lines. Now, the second example is longer. So I'm going to go down here and change this to example 2 and run it. And it gives you a little quote from Shakespeare. And uh, if you want to take these lines off, you go to uh, up here where we're drawing a line. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So we're in the main loop. In update line, we draw this rectangle around things for a demo here. So we just comment this line out and run it again. And you'll see how it should be looking. And that's it. This is how you scroll text in a PY game.